The issue of self-injury, or you might have heard of it as self-harm, is a topic that does not often come up around the dinner table. But maybe it should. Yeah. Joining us now is Savon Langford, author of the, the book, They Say That I Am Broken. Savon, thank you so much for coming on the show today. Let's get a description. What constitutes self-harm? Um, basically, anything, any physical harm that, you're, that a person does to themselves, on intentionally. Purpose. Intentionally, yes. okay. Now, we were just talking that this is not something we ever heard about as we were growing up, but right. that doesn't mean it's not happen it wasn't happening. Right. Tell us a little bit, I guess, about how prevalent is this? You know, right, right now it's an epidemic that's sweeping our nation, mm -hmm. um, as, as we well know, and, and the youth are, oh, it's just, it's just, it's horrible is what it's doing to our, our youth. Um, I'm actually a former cutter of 25 years. Uh, when I was younger, I started when I was about 15, and again, like we were talking about just a minute ago, you didn't hear about it. It's not something that I learned from a friend or learned on TV or the internet. Um, and so you didn't hear about it, so I didn't talk about it, and it was hard to get help because of that. But now it's out here in the open, and I'm, my vision is to see it come out more in the open and bring education to the subject so we can help people. Yes. Well, let's talk yeah. a little bit about education. The question comes up in my mind is, why? Yes. Why would anybody do this? There are a lot of reasons why people self-harm. Um, there's a lot of identity issues um, that are messed up, you know, uh, thinking that they're a bad person. Something may have happened to them when they were younger. Uh, they take it on as a personal thing. I'm a bad person, um, you know, those type of issues. Mm -hmm. A lot of pain, emotional pain on the, on the inside that they're not able to express. Uh, vocally, verbally, uh, they may not even be able to process it themselves or even know why they're feeling what they're feeling. And so uh, as an act of expression, um, you know, they'll cut on themselves. Cutting is the main thing with self-harm, although self-harm comes in, in many uh, different areas. Um, but cutting is the main thing. And there's a lot of things that happen when, when they cut. There's some physical things that happen in the body, for one thing. Um, when the cut is made, um, there's endorphins in, in, in the brain that get set off and the same feel-good chemicals that are um, like when you run and, and you would call it the runner's high, mm -hmm. it's the dopamine in the brain. Hmm. And all that stuff gets set off hmm. and so they actually feel a physical release from the emotional intensity that they're in at the moment. Really quickly, if you suspect that someone you love is in, inflicting harm upon themselves, what do you do? This is what I tell people, you know, main, main thing is people have a need to want to be heard. And a lot of people that are, you know, that are self in, involved in self-injury, they don't feel like they're being heard. Hmm. They're not validated for, their, for their, what they're feeling, what they've gone through. And so I encourage people, parents, uh, loved ones, you know, validate the person. You know, I, I, I hear you. You know, I, I know you're hurting. Um, are there places to go that like parents and even people who are doing this can go to, to talk about it, this, places here locally? Yes, I have a, a group that I've started. It's, we're coming up on a year now. It's called the Jeremiah Project, and it's a cutting self-injury support group. Okay. Um, it's a great um, asset in our community. Um, also, I'm going to be doing a seminar on the 16th of May. Uh, coming up, and it's going to be at 7 o'clock. Uh, the address is 415 South 2nd, okay. and it will be a seminar awareness on, on cutting, what it's all about, what we can do, how parents can respond or not respond, okay. you know, and, and try to answer as many questions as possible. Okay. It's right. a very serious yes. topic. Thank you for sharing it Thank with you. Thank you.